It is very eerie to be here. When was the last time you were here? 78 years ago. 78 years ago today, the view overlooking Omaha Beach was very different. Thousands died on that eventful day. They did not die in vain. When I got on that boat, come across that channel. The channel was still rough. It was a bad day. And come on to this beach. There was so much anxiety. Just think about it for the poor fellows that never got to the beach. Then their comrades just fall right before them and then still have to try to go on. 10,000 casualties. War hell. When General Patton came in, my outfit joined him and we busted through St. Louis. The six nations of the world asked our young people to jump behind enemy lines to seek and destroy the enemy. All you saw was flak, and we pushed, and we got out of that aircraft in about 12 and a half seconds. I never thought I'd be back here. It has been three years since we've been able to travel back and honor our heroes and celebrate the liberation of France. But it never took away our drive to complete our mission of taking care of the ones who took care of us. We can once again provide that opportunity of closure, camaraderie, remembrance that all of our World War II veterans deserve. We're all sitting on a moment that we're going to look back and realize that we too are a part of history. 29 World War II veterans will board a Delta flight and return to the site of the 1944 D-Day invasion in Normandy. This is a very special day for me to welcome you to this flight. Flight 9994 to Normandy is ready to board. 78 years ago, you guys came, you guys kicked butt, and you guys started the defeat of tyranny. Thanks to Delta Airlines for providing this opportunity for us to fly directly into Normandy. People of all ages have always cherished the memory of their liberators, celebrating every time you have returned. The Best Defense Foundation team and these veterans will assist you on every step to be honored here and have this last chance to say goodbye to your brothers buried so far from home. The French, the British, the Americans, we fought together. Now and forever, the people of France will march in your honor. They celebrate knowing their hopes and prayers were answered on June 6, 1944. This is this is better than when the war was over. <laughs> wow. I didn't expect that. Memories, like, you know, come back. You're on Omaha Beach, uh, June 6th. I can't tell you how I feel. I landed here at 7.30, just down there. It's terrible. There were bodies everywhere. They're floating. We can't, couldn't get them around them with the landing craft. We can't run, you can't run over human beings, can you? I walked on the beach. Yeah, you walked on the beach. <laughs> And thanks for the sight. I never expect to see it again. We are the inheritors of freedom. It is our responsibility as civilians to safeguard and protect that freedom for the next generation and to instill in our children a respect and appreciation for what was sacrificed on their behalf. Love you. Love you. It's, it's unbelievable. This is history sitting in front of you and the, in the time you're gonna be able to spend with these men and women today is something you should carry with you the rest of your life. The time will come where you'll be telling your children that you met a World War II veteran and that they came to your school and you listened to them talk about what they went through. We fired the first shot in the war on board the USS Nevada. 
We were the greatest generation, but we were the poorest generation. I'm 101 years old, and I started serving in the Navy with John Paul Jones. Hey, Dada. I'm standing before you today on these hollow grounds, honoring these thousands of soldiers' sacrifices that can never be repaid. Many of these men and women were between the ages of 15 and 18 when they joined the war, forging birth certificates and dropping out of school to protect their country. Those are the guys that paved the way. They're the heroes. They, they made it possible for us to get up here. We're not the heroes, we're the, we're the ones that, that continued the war. Their blood stained this beach that we're standing on. Never forget it that everything we have and enjoy today, the way of peace and, and even prosperity, we owe to that generation. You don't know what you're talking for, no man. The world will little note, nor long remember, what we say here. But it can never forget what they did here. And for those fallen comrades who lie here and perhaps listen to us, They've waited for us for many years to come. what we've done and what I've been through. I've done it for you people, so don't screw it up. <laughs>